Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We are back with my garage. Now before we get into the game, um, please remember to like or dislike the video. And uh, if you do like what you see, then please hit the subscribe button. Um, and in the video description, I will leave links to my other two YouTube channels, the Discord server and my Twitch. So feel free to check those out. Anyway, let's get into the game. So, I've been a bit busy off camera. Um, I've built the sedan version of this. Exactly the same engine, 3 litre turbo diesel. Same colour, same trim package. And my plan is to eventually have one of each. So I've got a cabriolet here and I've got a coupe over here ready to go and they will be done in the same package so I'm not going to bore you to death by doing these on the videos I'll do those off camera it's exactly, it's exactly the same build I don't know why I wanted to do that I just wanted a set of four exactly the same cars for some reason uh, the other thing I've also done I've had the drag cars out of storage and I've fixed these because uh that was a glitch a while back now, where as the cars loaded in, they seemed to just run around in the uh, <laughs> in the barn on their own and cause some damage to that one and that one, which is actually meant to be on the ramps as a display, but it's rolled off. Yeah. And so I've got those fixed as well. Now, there's been updates to the game since we last played. There is now um, like a service centre over in the town, which we'll go look at in a minute, where you can use a rolling road, you can get your vehicle serviced, you can have a health check done on it. And there is a car showroom that actually sells pristine cars. I've got one to go and collect that's waiting over there, and I bought this one. And I really like these wheels. This is just a, it's a tuned V8. That's all it is in here, just a tuned V8. Drives nicely though. But uh, it doesn't look like there's any modified suspension under here. I have had a look. It looks all stock to me. So I could change that. I, might, well, I was going to say lower it, but there's not a lot of uh, room in there. Is that? I wonder what size wheels these are. Are they the 17s? If memory serves correctly, he um, the um, developer did add some 17-inch wheels. Right, anyway. Let's head over to the town. And yes, we're going to drive. Only because you can't teleport to the town. <laughs> um. Forgot to let the um, glow plugs heat up. Just a second. So I turned my headphone volume down. Always have it cranked all the way up when I'm listening to music. But it gets a bit loud when I'm uh, doing videos like this. It makes a change to drive anyway. I don't do a lot of driving on the game. Not even off camera. I just build the cars and support them. <laughs> Whoa. Be a pet to it for a turbo diesel. Whoop. Better avoid the oncoming cars as well as the ones I need to overtake. Start slowing down for our turning. And I still miss it. <laughs> we're off roading. We're off roading, never hurt anyone. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there's something else I discovered as well. I have no idea how long it's been there. I'll show you when we get to this gas station. 
probably been there for a long time and I've only just remembered. But, uh, at this gas station, there's a car wash. Oh, she can spin the tyres very well. I didn't realise that one. And all you do is just drive into it. I don't know if there's a time limit on this. If it just stops when you drive out. No, it just seemed to be on a uh, yeah, on a timer. Might have to sleep when we uh, get to the town because it's getting a bit dark. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so uh, don't plant your foot on the throttle. It just spins. You know, fun fact, the town is actually the only... Actually, no, it's not. It's the second location that I actually know how to get to off by heart. I can't remember where the drag strip is. What do I do? Keep overshooting the earnings. There's a few buildings I've noticed um, that have appeared as well. Here we are. Well, the brakes work, but not very well. Hoping for a reverse donut. I'm not too worried about the tyres on this because they're not brand new. Okay, there's the second car I bought. Ooh, I thought I was going to hit it. <laughs> okay, so I think the brakes on this need some attention. I'm just going to leave it in drive, it's not going to go anywhere, is it? She's getting a bit dark. There we go, go for the door. Is there an opening time on this place? Well, I'll have a look at this first. So, yeah, I got this from the showroom. Oh, and the cars don't change. Well, those are your cars you can choose from. But, of course, you can modify these any way you wish. I love these seats. So this is apparently the rally spec. We'll have a look at the um, detailed tags in there. And debumpered. I love these little air scoops on the side here. I don't know if it's the light or that fuel um, door looks a different shade of red. I think it could just be the lighting though. And that is the I-4. Which doesn't actually look like it's had many modifications. It's had this um, twin carb setup fit. I can't remember what they call that now. That's about it. Oh, and the high performance uh, fuel pump. 
but I don't know if it's got, because I've had a look in the parts catalogue, you can now get a lightweight flywheel, you can get different cam shafts and crank shafts, all for performance, lightweight flywheel, performance clutch, forged pistons, all available for the i4, I don't know how long that's been available, I think some of it is actually fairly recent, looking at the... Um, Um, update log. Right, what I'm going to do, I was going to tow this to the garage, but uh, I'm hoping there's nothing in the way. No, I don't want to sell it. Oh, you can tow it to the service as well. Um, oh. Obviously, I did not attach these to the car, and I'd forgotten. And we'll drive this one back. Let's have a look. You want to remember where the uh, entrance doors are, which I think are around here. Automatic doors. So here we have our three choices. We've got one bar, supercharged V8. 454 horsepower, 32 grand. You can't actually open the hoods or anything to have a look at them. You can't see what's under them. And this one is the Lad Coupe Rally Car. Rally spec car with tuned 1.8 engine and roll cage. 286 horsepower. Cheapest one out of three. I think this one is the most expensive. The V8 Wolf. Yep, the Wolf Coupe. Custom V8 Wolf Coupe with body kit. Got a body kit. And it's got body coloured bumpers on it. Anyway, let's go through to the service area. You can park your car here. You go back in here to the counter. Test car for selling. I don't know why it's got an FF on there, I don't know if that's a typo. Uh, but you can do brake diagnostics if you just want your brakes checked. We've got an engine diagnostic, so you just check your engine. Uh, what's that one? Full diagnostics and a dyno test. You just click on these and you can pay for each. So we can actually do dyno testing, I've not done that yet. I'll tell you what, we've got a car here. Let's figure out how to work the uh, dyno, shall we? If it was me, though, I think I am going to do it with this one. I'm going to get rid of these door cards and the roof lining. These rally cars... Well, I've never seen a rally car in real life that has stuff like that. So, you know, it's as bare bones as possible. You know, we've got a radio in here as well, I've just realised. That works. Lights, they're handy. Also noticed, you can get different sized um, engine blocks as well. to change the camera, that's the horn. <laughs> not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that that's map. Oh. Did not know there was a keyboard shortcut. What is my clutch pedal doing? <laughs> been through every button on there. That one. Another screen freeze. Yeah, I 
thought so, I've pulled a bit too far forwards. Just need to nudge you that way a little bit. Oh, your rear wheel drive, so I may actually need... No. Should be good right there. I'm going to nudge you around a bit. Got to figure out what that uh, camera angle button is. Right, so it's on. Now, what we need to do. that for a dyno test. We've got our little tie down in there. Oh, I see, we just click on and it ties it ourselves down, right. In the car. six gears. Don't know why. Two hundred and eighty six horsepower, so it is uh I better take that out of gear actually. Oh, it's just stalled. Why did that just stall? <laughs> Maybe because it is in gear. Magic! I shifted down and she's restarted. Better have that on there. So, do I just click on this to un... Ah, so I'll click on it there. Is there like a, a certificate or something? No, it just gives you the results on the horses. We'll buy your car. Oh yeah, you can buy um, or sell your car to a dealership here as well. Well, while we're trying things out here, it should come back perfectly fine, but... Nearly forgot. Nicely. Go. Turn off the engine. 
you, I'm going to take the door cards off of this. I was debating on whether to change the colour or just leave it as is. So, let's go for a full diagnostic. Where's my car gone? They stole my car! Oh, I see. Somewhere. Now let's test car for something. Should get a little paper, a little um, sheet of paper. Ah, no, hang on. Just a random map. Discard money. That's a new thingy there. I don't know what the purpose of that is. I'm looking in the wrong window, aren't I? I need to go to that, I need to go to that. Diagnostics info, that was it. You go, no worn parts, no ruined parts. For the engine components, suspension, the same, brake, the same. Other components, the same. Can actually tell you, you know, what parts are ruined, what parts are still fine. Okay. Let's head home. Got a newer row of buildings right there. has been added to this shop as well. And the town has a football field. Am I going to get over that or am I just going to... Oh no, it's... A... Where's the rear end that gets stuck? Yeah, we've got a uh, football field. there and acting like a curb. Okay, I think we've seen everything here. Let's head back to the garage. One of these days I do want to check out the um, racetrack and drag strip because I still haven't done that. Them drag cars there, I've not actually 
taking any on the drag strip. Now, I've just realised you don't get a lot of gas in the cars. It's enough to get me back to the garage, though. while I have been driving around that the um, loading lag spikes you get sometimes are not as bad as they used to be. I think that was one of the things that actually put me off the drive. I'm trying to keep my mouth still. quite like the colour scheme of this. Well, I am tempted to change the engine for a tuned 2 litre lump instead. And stick this in something else. Okay. I was worried it was going to land on top of that, but I think... Uh, the developer actually fixed that problem. I got the glow plugs. I forget it's a diesel. Uh, I left it in the car. Park this up here with the other one. Yeah, I downloaded the uh, mod for the extra badges. Just because I think they look better with the badges. Okay. Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, is this one that I forgot to put on the car? Yep. Did I paint his body colour or did I leave him black? I left him black. Right. We'll do that then. I'll grab. I think it's a wrench for that. Get this bolted on. That's where I find it's not even the left mirror, is it? What is? There we go. 
don't know why it's flapping about like that. There's one bolt, where's the other one? I know it's hidden quite well when you've got the door card on. Should be able to do it. Oh, we might as well do the um, sun visors while I'm at it. Now, so why are they now undefined? What happened there? Diesel engines here to sort out. Let's get the scrap parts off. I get uh, a couple of new sun visors, won't I? Uh, wolf. Interior. A lift. Oh yeah, and I think I forgot this in that one. As in, it's the wrong colour. Let's just drop these out here. I swear this mouse is too sensitive sometimes. Right. What are you? Just an ordinary piston. I need a screwdriver. Is the toolbox out here? I think. Yep. Is the screwdriver in it? It is. And I'm going to need that as well. the window. I don't want to take the window out. Yeah, because that's a light grey. I was going to go for the light grey into... Oh, I took the window out anyway. Well, that saved a lot of problems. I have to take a long drive up to the interior shop at some point. What's this one? Is this the left? No, it's the right. I'll do the left one first. Suddenly got taller. <laughs> you notice that now. If you get close to the car, sometimes... That is good. Look at that. You step up. That is going to make painting the roof a lot easier. And a lot easier than using those damn steps. Is that the only screw? I'm guessing that's what I forgot to do last time. On when I built this off camera, I should say. I don't know why that just went on the roof. There we go. Mirrors in, yep. There we go, that one is good to go. Back in the toolboxes. Now, this is how stuck into a game I get. I actually forgot. I've got myself a cold drink before I start the video. Which was 34 minutes ago. Really? It's been 34 minutes already? Wow. I feel like I've only been recording for 15. That's better. Oh yeah, I bought one of these as well. I did not realise you could buy these until I was down at the mod shop the other day. Oh, speaking of, I'm just I'm going to cheat for this one. I'm going to use my no clip and just fly over here. Now, I've known for a while that uh, 
The developer changed all the houses down here at the beach. Some quite nice ones, actually. But then there's this big one that you can actually enter. It's the only one here that you can enter, so why doesn't it? Take the no clip off. And this is a really big house, that's a big room. Don't know if the garage opens. It does. Now wouldn't it be cool if there was like a furniture shop and you could furnish this house yourself? Nice big room here. And we've even got a third floor in this one. Big attic space. You can just sort of run across. Right. Oh, I've just remembered. At some point I need to um, have a bit of a clear out down here. I've got some furniture and things I bought yonks ago. Which actually survived my game, my save game getting corrupted. But yeah, I was going to have a bit of a... I think I'll have to bring the trailer down. I don't remember buying that table. I must have, because it's there. I like those shelves. I'm not so keen on these ones. I'm just going to load these up on the trailer one day and uh, clear them out. We've got anything new there. Here's the beach huts. Or the sheds, I think. Is that what they call them, the sheds? I don't know why I call that beach hut. Probably because it's on the beach. <laughs> so you get a nice big four bay. And it's basically a thousand dollars every bay. So the four bay is four thousand. What's this one? Is this one the two bay? Yep, two thousand. And then we've got the one bay, one thousand, so on. Three bay, three thousand. We have floors. Wondered what these were. And it took me ages to figure out where these land. I have a, uh, a single bay one as well. Because I put a single bay shed over here at the house. I don't remember how I get to it. I've forgotten how I get to it. <laughs> Up here a bit more. There it is. Yeah. Sort of like an extra carport. Right. Now, I don't know if this if this is where they're meant to spawn, but this is where they're spawning anyway. Right here. I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, no, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just going to put it down here for now. This one. I oh, know I'm cheating. Uh, oh, next turn no clip off.
Yeah, you do need the move tool for that then. Ah. I'm lost. Can't see. <laughs> Might have to put the floor down first. So we'll put that there. Which is now upside down. And I hit the trailer. We turn that up the right way then. For some reason I couldn't get out of the side of that. We'll grab this and we'll just dump this over here for now. We'll block the road with it. Idea what was going on here. I can't do anything. Okay. Floor. Put the floor down first. Hopefully. Not like that up not. No. Turn it a bit more. Go this way with it. Is it. Why is that? It's not going to be any good, is it? Bounced. Uh, can I get hold of it from the middle leg here? I don't think this floor is going to work, or I'm doing something wrong. And it shouldn't be uh, sitting like that either. Just as I thought, it's got to go forwards. Yeah, I'm not convinced this floor's going to work. Because of that lip. Nothing to do with these, is it? Just chuck these in here out the way. There's nothing else in this corner when I load the bays, so... Stuck on this. Oh, get hold of it. There we go. Don't know what I'm going to do with that shelf unit yet. Let's just see if I can get this. That's better. I'm going to need that one. Um, Stuff from the thing shop. Need a car. I haven't got one here that I don't really care about because I've got to try that. What I might do is reload the game later and just see if that'll sit in its proper position because I cannot imagine that lip is meant to be there and I cannot see anything underneath it that's holding it up there shouldn't be because there's nothing around here I don't 
don't think anything's been changed over here. Don't know when that was added, but that's not always been there. What we got over here? Nothing new over here, no. Fishy still doesn't spawn right. <laughs> I bet that's quite fiddly to get that right. You gotta get it so the movement is, you know, within the tank. It partially is. But I have noticed that sometimes this fish will spawn a bit further over. It doesn't seem to be a consistent spawn. Maybe the uh, developer will work on it one day. It's not really that important though. I wonder if I can find slightly better cabriolet. Or coupe. Another coupe will do. Oh, big stretch. Sorry about that, just had to stretch. Not that I mind doing the body work, I was just, you know, wanting something a bit easier. Or I could get lazy and go and buy one from the uh, dealership across the way from the garage. And then just do that up to the way I want it. Actually, I might do that. I might sell all those projects and spares cars and... Uh, um, get one from the dealership. That's if you can get one to spawn. The only problem with that. It only spawns three cars, so I don't know what the chances are of getting the one that you want would be. I can't remember how many cars I've got this junkyard set to now. Let's have a look. Ten. Ten. I think. I think 14 cars is the uh, max. You've got a cabriolet here, which is straighter. Got anything in it? A completely clapped out engine, but that doesn't matter because I'd probably change it anyway. Carpet. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the blue interior. What's it going to cost me? Hmm. Not that bad. I'm actually happy with the uh, coupe project that I've got. Two in here, actually. I don't need no more coupes. I've got two. Or well, one and a bit. <laughs> what you got to say? Work hard, and one day you'll be like me. I hope not. <laughs> no offense, dude, but I hope not. Then again. I would love my own junkyard, so yeah, actually, maybe I would. Minus the uh, beer there, because I don't drink. I'm a bit boring. It's a bad door card. I don't know why that's over there. Must have bought it accidentally. Okay. 
Tow to the garage. Taxi to the garage. I can just sit and bolt up, right? Right, is there any parts on this one? We've got a nice grey leather rear seat there. I was going to say I've got clapped out engine on here, but there is some usable parts. So, before this goes, I'm going to salvage the usable bits off of it. I think before I sell the other um, wolves that I've got over there, we'll strip the bits off that. Do I need a fender for this one? No. Do I need fenders for this one? I need this right hand one. That's the wrong wolf. And this one hasn't got one. I don't need a hood. I think that's straight. I don't need doors. Yes, I do. I need a right-hand door from the looks of it. Can't see. So glad he added the uh, head torch. Alright, that door card is no bueno. It's worn and horrible and dirty. To the point the bolt actually looks like part of the dirt. <laughs> right, let's just put a trash pile there. The electric window lifter is trash. That whole blue interior can come out of this one. I think it's suspension components and stuff like that I'm going to salvage. Always need these. Is that spring a good one or a bad one? Is a bad one. You are getting on my nerves because you're right in the bloody way. Anything we can salvage off the rear? There really isn't a lot to salvage off of this, is there? <laughs> Seems like most of it is garbage. Um, I've got a transmission there, but I don't think it's the one I want. That's a good um, fuel filler. Well, the filter housing is, but the lid isn't. Just wondering if I should, uh, you know, no, that might be a better mouse sensitive. Just changing the uh, mouse sensitivity on the mouse itself. Let's try on. Whoa, no, yellow is too much. Blue. Little color LEDs. That's the one I normally have on. I think I actually prefer this one, even if it is a little bit on the sensitive side. Right, so there's no windows. Not even any carpet in the back here, is there? Uh, is there a gas tank? Uh, no. There is. my character works out what he's doing. And I'm going to have to go to the other side to get that. I just spotted the, uh, a decent... I don't know if I need the glass, but I'm going to take it anyway. I can always, uh... 
sell it on again if I don't need it. This is what I was actually after. So it is a good one. But steering columns. We've got dash. Oh, this one hasn't got any doors on it. So I need both doors from this one, because the coupe and the cabriolet are exactly the same car. This is one's got a roof on it and one hasn't. Because they're the same car, we can use the same doors. Is there anything suspension-wise at this side? We've got a wheel. Good looking wheel, actually. This has got a good tyre on it. Yeah. It looks like the only good component on this side is the hub. <laughs> uh, oh, I wanted to get those off, didn't I? The brake line. I have got a pile of light clusters, and these two rears are busted anyway. Uh, oh. Oh, we haven't got one. Never mind then. Steering box is no good. That linkage is okay. I know what bolt that was. Oh, I know what bolt it was. Wires, battery wires are actually good. Alternator. Of course, the ground wire, which is on the back of the block. And there we go. Don't understand why sometimes. Oh, so does it mean it actually attaches to that and not the steering doodah? Right, so let's just go back here and pile up these parts. What am I doing for time? Coming up to the hour mark is really what I want to do for today, unless... You know what, we'll dismantle one more car, then I'll call it quits. Here we go. We've got three of these. These three were actually in storage. That I bought when the wolf uh, first came out. And I bought them as projects. And I forgot they were in there until um, recently. But this car is refusing to budge. You have to put me superpower on. There we go. Oh. Uh, I'm going to take the engine out of this just because there is some very good usable bits on there. This wheel is wheeled. This wheeled. This wheel is bald. At least the tire is bald. Actually, speaking of wheels, um, we had issues with my stepdad's van last week. Okay, so it's got a bad hub on it. Ooh. That's a good bit, though. Yeah, we get to uh, Wednesday. When we get to our destination. I get out of the van, I'm passenger because I don't drive, I actually don't drive in real life. And uh, I smell hot rubber. And I look down at the uh, front wheel and it's flat as a pan pancake. So I contact my mum brings out a trolley jack because we didn't have a jack on the van we've got a toolkit on there 
that uh, the guy my stepdad got the van from obviously uh, either kept the jack or used it for something, never put it back on the car, the uh, van. You know. So, uh, anyway. Mum turns up with the trolley jack, because there's, there's actually two at Mum's. And the first one is the broken one. So, you know, we'll open that in no good. So, uh, <laughs> obviously Mum, not very best pleased, goes back and gets the other trolley jack. Which we were sure was a working one. In fact, I know we had one broken one and one good one. Uh, nope, because when Mum gets back with the second jack, that's also a broken one. With a little um, plunger on it that pumps the uh, hydraulic fluid had uh, seized up. And no matter what we did, we could not get it to unseize. So, what Mum ended up doing was just taking my stepdad literally around the corner to a Wilco store which I suppose is a bit like you know O'Reilly's in the States or something like that um, and bought a brand new little trolley jack for um, I think he spent £32 on it so we eventually got the tyre changed for the spare one that's on the van <laughs> which was um rather sketchy i was not happy to put it on the van at all but we didn't have many options we didn't have any other tires and we couldn't really leave the van where it was so then we had another errand to run the day after that and we get two-thirds of the way there and the rear tyre on the passenger side of the van again, which would be our left here in the UK, blew. It blew out on us. Thankfully it didn't, you know, throw us off the road or anything, or didn't even jolt the van really. It was quite a mild blowout, but still it blew out. Um, and I am pretty certain that what had happened we'd, uh, with all this hot weather we'd been having lately, um think because the tires weren't brilliant but they it still had enough tread on which is why it didn't worry me at least not the back ones but um i think the heat had got to the tire and um a bulge appeared because we did have quite a bit of juggling that morning coming from the van and that just you know just popped Uh, anyway, that could have been a lot worse. So, uh, my stepdad actually went out Friday. He didn't use the van at all that day. So, Wednesday we had the front tyre go flat. Thursday we had the blowout. And uh, Friday it got four. Uh, well, I was going to say new tyres, but they weren't new tyres. What we I don't know if you can get them in like other countries, but we can use uh, what we call part worn. So they're basically tyres that are still in good enough condition to use and have plenty of tread on. So you can opt to have those. Which is actually, you know, if you think about it, it's better for the environment. I can't believe I've got good exhaust off of this. Right, they're junk parts. don't think there's anything else I want on this unless there's a gas tank in the back here. Nope. I'm not building any more sedans, so I don't need door panels or glass. Okay. Say goodbye to this. I'm still getting a good sum, actually. Considering there's not a lot left of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this engine block and put it over with the others. And as that one didn't take too long, I'm going to do another one. I don't want to run the video to run on for any longer than an hour and a half. A 
Oh. What a damn. Screw Actually, you know what? Let's just bring the toolbox. Is my move tool tool still over there or I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Right, that's rubbish. Just wanna get the uh hub off of this. Disc is okay, but that hub is toast. I mean, it would probably still work, but the um, overall handling of the vehicle wouldn't be very good. And the same there, got the rear one. There we go. It'll be our junk pile over here, then I'll take it all to the pawn brokers. I don't know why, I just prefer to go to the pawn broker. Ah, we have a move tool here, good. I got this shelf unit from uh, down at the docks over there. Because obviously all my shelving that I'd collected up from around the map had also reset when that glitch happened. Never mind. Right, what we got on here then that I can salvage? Dang it, I thought I was going to get a good rear shot. Uh, what we got on here? Backing plate is no good. Oh, that's a good idea to have a supply of those. I think that hub is actually good as well. It is. So I can leave that on the disc. It's just all the backing plate section. That, that is not. Always need those things. Control arms. Oh, and the van is actually booked in to have some brake servicing done. The brakes work. Um, and they're not dangerous, because they were checked um, by the guy when um, they had the tyres done. But, uh, again, the left one the caliper is sticking a little bit. And uh, my stepdad said uh, the guy took a hammer to the caliper to knock off all the crap that was on it. And there was a load of dust and stuff that fell off it. Now we've just got a squeak. It sounds like we've got a budgie stuck to the wheel. Chip, 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 whenever he brakes. It gets annoying, but my stepdad said the brakes actually feel better. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to book it in for a service. Um, book it in. It's booked in for a brake service. I can't remember what day, though. <laughs> I do believe that is a good spring right there. But oddly, my stepdad's Mercedes van, I think I've mentioned this before in previous videos, um, it's got the exact same suspension set up at the front as this car has. Exactly the same. You know, with the lower control arm, your knuckle and bearing and everything, and then your, I don't know if the steering mechanism is exactly the same. That's another bald tire. Could keep the rims, but I don't need them. I don't think. Ah, looks like we may have a good um, knuckle this side. Yeah, that brake line isn't any good, though. And the wheel hub is not any good. Or the bearing, whatever you want to call it. It's basically all that is. Screwdriver. Tell you what, all the juddering that was coming from the van, it's all gone now that there's four good tyres on it. 
and one of the original tars is now in the back of the van as a spare because it's still suitable as a spare and that's actually what was the driver's side rear which would be right hand side for us because uh, the front one that had um, quite a bit of wear because the uh, wheel alignment was off An engine in this. Actually, anything. Is it worth taking the whole engine out? No, it isn't. I will just salvage a couple of parts for the other engines, though. Much as the exhaust header. I was looking at the state of the block, it's not going to be any point salvaging any of the internals. does look like, though, we've got a few good bits on the front here. Such as power steering pump. I do believe this car is the only one in the game that's technically got power steering. I'm just going to take anything good off that's on the outside of the engine. Radmeator isn't. That water pump isn't. Uh, fuel filter is. Probably not wise to use a used fuel filter. At least I wouldn't do it in, um, on a real car unless I was in a pinch and didn't have much choice. Where's that other bolt? There it is. I'm not going to bother with the injectors or anything. I guarantee most of them are worn out anyway. Master cylinder? Nope. I think I need a head. I will pinch the radiator because I'm pretty certain I'm going to need at least one of these. With dead hoses still attached. Perhaps I should have took the top hose off first. Dang it, I might actually have to sleep. We've got a front seat in here. We have. I'm going to cheat. There we go. We've got down. We don't have a dash in this. We don't have anything on the interior that I need. No. Nope. I think that's just about it for the engine bits. Ah, I've got, got a rear wheel here. Just whip that off. We might have a good tire. No, there's a bull tire as well. We've got good wheel up. Good. That's what I like to see. Control on them. No. Nope. As my dad's van is a van, the rear suspension is totally different. And it's got leaf springs on the back. Memory serves correct. I'm going to double check that now because I'm questioning myself. I was trying to remember, you know, did it have leaf springs? <laughs> Vans usually do, even these days, because, you know, they can handle a bit more weight. I think that is all I can get off the road. Right, it's another one that can go. That's a good price for a lump of scrap, really. Oh, and look at that. The drive shaft fell off. And it's a good one. Mm, I've got another exhaust header there. I don't think I actually need it. I don't think. Ah! I will pinch that, though, if I can find the other bolt. I've actually noticed, when you look at the wolves at the junkyard, you don't 
often find a good starter on the engine. So I'm going to pinch that. What we got this side? Have we got a good tie rod? We have. Let's just drop the front control arm off this side. Got a pile of them inside. I just I can't remember whether I've got more rights than lefts or more lefts than rights. What have we got on this side? Got knackered one of those. Knackered wheel hub, so I'm not going to take that off. The knuckle isn't any good. That shock isn't any good. We haven't got one that side. Right, screwdriver. Let's get rid of that. There's no point taking the whole thing off. Brake caliper, that's what I was after. There we go. Yeah, I think I've got a nice pile of bits here to get going with on my next one. And I said, I don't think I'll, you know, do a video building another one of these. Because it's all the same. It's not like I'm changing specs or anything on it. I just wanted to build all matching cars, basically. Apart, well, I say matching. Spec-wise, they'll be matching. Around the other side. None of these cars had... Oh, one good tyre out of three cars that I've scrapped. That just launched that one at me. Oh, got a good wheel hub on that one. Take the whole thing. And we've got a good backing plate. Did I get the top one? No, apparently not. It would appear I've still got... Uh... Ah, could be that that's holding it on. Yep. Get off. So that can just stay as one whole unit. They're all toast. Springs are all toast. That's toast. Toast. I believe that is it. I'm just going to drop my tools back here. gas tank. Can't see right through to the back of the uh, rear seat. What's this one worth then? Holy moly. Perhaps I should have just sold those. <laughs> As they were. Right. I've got some clearing up to do, haven't I? I'll do that off camera as well because it's boring, you know, just me loading up the backpack and running down to the pawnbrokers there. Although, before I do that, I thought, I thought I'd sold this one. There we go. I think before I do that, I'll take off all the busted parts off of this one and just do it all in one trip. Uh, do I need a cylinder head? I'm going to need at least one, because I only need two of the engines. I'm going to need at least one, so I'll probably just take that off of this. And Oh, what a shame. This was a turbo diesel as well. Look, but that's all... All gone kaputski. That's a busted radiator as well. I didn't check that on this one, did I? Wherever I put it. Are you actually a good radiator? You've got a purple mark 
or a pink mark on one side. Nope, you are a good one. Good. Right. Oh, I need to stretch again. Oh, there we go. Okay then. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Not sure what that sound was I just heard. I don't know if that was in game or behind me. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, um, hit the like button, and if you didn't, hit the dislike button. And uh, I will leave links to my Discord server, my Twitch, and my other two YouTube channels in the video description below the video. So feel free to check those out. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.